Hello, and this is Robert Monroe again with another edition of the Explorer Tapes. This is a composite of several important meetings with our friend Miranon, courtesy of SHE. We believe it to be one of the most interesting descriptions of total reality we have yet encountered. It begins with SHE in Focus 12. As she was unable to get well stabilized, I suddenly thought to ask her to describe the levels from 15 to 22 and back. These were the levels that Miranon reported as being those of human life here on the planet Earth. And as I counted, here was her response. I've been on a... It's almost like a vortex I was caught in. Twenty-two is not physical in any way. Twenty-one can be either physical or non-physical, depending upon where you choose to focus the energy. I have a... When you ask that, I had a, a wave of thought, like... I just had the number 18 come into my head and the sense I had behind that was that that's where I'm focusing but that 21 is is more of a a total transcending and yet an acceptance of the the physical form, but you can transcend it if you want to. Happening to my body. When you said 22, I, I became the blue light and it was a, a very slow pulsing wave that was not moving very fast and then when you said 21 the whole vibrational state changed and it was much more it was like rapid and yet standing still it was a much higher vibrational rate. I wish I understood more about vibrational rates. And yet it was on a physical plane, whereas 22 wasn't at all. And so 21 was much faster. But there was an awareness of a physical form. And then when you said 20 was when I really noticed what was happening to my body because the, the vibrations slowed some and I became much more aware of my voice and of the sound of the tape and of your voice of the physical things whereas before I'd been more aware of the energy if that makes any sense. The pattern continues. The, the vibrations are slower than at 21, and the noise is, is louder. And now I suddenly became aware of my breathing and some of the tension in some of my muscles. It's like the, uh, the, sense, the sense I have, I have 
the words resistance come in, that there's a, a higher resistance to the vibrations, so they can't flow as rapidly. But as you go up in the levels, the resistance dissipates so that the vibrations can travel more smoothly, and yet they're faster. And since I don't know anything about physics, I don't know if that makes any sense or not. I started quivering in my right arm. The, the, the sense again of having slowed down some of of being more aware now, now I can can feel a, a slight pulsing between the the whatever it is I have on my fingers and there's, I can feel more heat, too. It's the first time I've had an awareness of heat. Uh, for the awareness, the, the, there's more smoothness than in 18 as far as just feeling almost floating and less awareness. It seems to be like in 18 I was moving out towards my limbs and sensing them. In 19 there's more just an awareness of, of my breath. My voice sounds fainter. that's been taken from 30 to 40 to 50. It's smoother. There's less friction. It's very comfortable. It's more difficult to communicate. Uh, I I just feel very very peaceful. I I feel as if I'm moving or vibrating or whatever, but there's no there's no motion to it. It's neither up nor down nor forward or twenty one all appear very comfortable but very different. They aren't the sense I just have like a rainbow going before me of of colors and they're they're like the colors that that Mirnan has described that they're all going at different beats and moving The pattern is really, it's like I see a spectrum of 22 through, oh, I don't know, through 28, something like that. 
and they all are interwoven. I think I could draw it for you. I like 21, so I've just kind of stayed here. And the sense that I have is it's like, when you ask that, I got the illusion of looking at a sunset and having a sense that the horizon is the end, but that it's only an illusion because as you go forward in the levels, ever new levels arise. Time lapse 122, 1 minute 22. I apologize for being so late, but I need to thank you and to tell you that I am glad you received my message. If you would like to explore these levels, I will be very happy to do so with you. I needed for Liana to be able to experience them on her own before we began. Levels. And I have been sending you this message. I am very glad that you received it. It will be very hard for her to enter these levels until she is prepared for it. 21 is a good level for us to work from, and it is a safe level for her to be in. But until we have worked for a while, she is not ready to go further. And she is right, she is operating primarily from level 18, which is a much slower vibrational rate. Her body will have to change its metabolism if she goes to 21, and especially if she goes higher. But 21 is safe for her at this point. I must go now. The vibrational levels are very high. And Liana needs to rest and come back. But I will be with you very soon, and hopefully we can have time together. We will begin working. I look forward to it very much. Goodbye. The question about a sudden thought or the idea of running SHE through the various levels at her conscious focus 12 state was an interesting idea. I thought it was my own idea, but evidently not. When SHE arrived the following week for the next session, she presented me with a diagram, a, a chart as it were, of the 21 levels of physical matter existence here on this physical earth. She didn't exactly say how she got this, except to say that it came to her. Also, she indicated that it was for me. And in the following session, you can see what happened. Without much ado, our friend Miranon returned. I, I understand that Liana has given you a diagram of the levels. Yes. And before I talk about specific levels, I think you need to know an overall pattern on the levels. 
And that is what I would like to talk with you today, unless you have some other questions. I think that would be very good. I am ready to have the diagram in front of me. Very good. There are many levels. As I have said to you, I am on level 46. All of the levels are related to the number seven. The first level is always a pulsing level. It is the beat of life, of the impulse of being. It is the, the flowing quality as we have talked about earlier. And since entering into any new plane of existence is oftentimes difficult for the consciousness, this color is a very soothing color. This level has a very soothing color to it. And that is, as Liana described to you last week, a blue. It allows the being or the consciousness to make a smooth transition. But this level is also a level that is somewhat difficult for the consciousness because on this level it is new to this plane and it must become secure. It must develop feelings of being comfortable in this new plane. And therefore it can only flow in the horizontal direction. If you will notice on the, on the diagram, the first three levels are all horizontal levels. They are all levels in which the being is becoming comfortable with this new plane of existence in which it is learning and establishing the foundation for the other levels within that plane of existence. Are you following? The second level is simply a mirror image of the first level It is the reverse, and the two are very complementary. Because security has been established, it can have a color of greater intensity, a color with a higher vibrational rate, and that color is red. When a being is on this level, he is developing an awareness of all of the the realities of that plane. In your plane of existence, it would be an awareness of all of the senses, a total immersion into the outside reality brought in by the senses. And because it is still directed to an understanding, a learning about this plane of reality, it is still on a horizontal level. Another point that there is so much to tell you, but another point about these 
levels is that all of these colors radiate. They are not simply the line as such, but like the, the auras around every living thing, they radiate and form an arc-like pattern around the wave form so that it is possible to have points on any level where you are in contact with other levels. And they are all united. If you will notice, there is nothing separate or distinct at any point on any of these levels. They all touch the other levels. The third level transverses or goes through the middle of the first two levels. And can reach out a little more directly into other spheres, other forms of life on the same plane. This level has a different intensity to it. In this level, there is more of a development of inner awareness. It is still on a horizontal plane, but the color for this level is yellow. It does not have the heaviness of the second level. There is an expanding of the consciousness and increasing awareness of that plane of existence. And with this expansion, this development in your plane of existence, it would be a development of the mind, an expansion of the mind. There comes a need for more and more power. And in this way, power can be gained over other forms of existence on that plane, but primarily only on that plane. Again, this level is a horizontal level. It does not descend or ascend. The fourth level of the seven is the one that both Liana and I are on, and it is one reason we can have contact with each other. It is the vertical plane. It is the beginning of the ascension and descension. This plane can either ascend or descend, and therefore we can meet. The color for this plane is a rose color. It is a lighter color. It is a plane that brings greater unity through all the planes. The primary quality of this plane is what you call love is an openness to realities beyond this reality, beyond whatever plane you happen to be on. And it opens the door to expansion into other realities. There is a lot of tension right now. I need to check on Liana. I will return. I have finished the fourth level, right? That's right. The fifth level is very interesting. 
the fifth and sixth levels are closely tied together. There are very few consciousnesses that are on fifth or sixth level. For example, when I transcend the 46th level, I will be in level 47 and 48. I will not be just in 47. They are very complementary levels. The color for the fifth level is primarily green. It is what you call your healing light. And it works very closely with the rose light in level four. The two, again, are interrelated. But in the fifth level, there is a tranquility, a sense of inner peace that comes from the development of this awareness of the love consciousness. And it is primarily a descending level. You become more acutely aware of the realities of the levels beneath you. The levels beneath you is not the right word. I do not know the right word. It does not come. The space is very difficult to describe because the levels are not in space as you know it. But for lack of a better word, beneath will have to do. It is primarily a level that gives you an understanding, like the rain. The rain would be on the fifth level. And as it falls, it understands, it has an awareness of the reality that it is entering. It is a different reality from the reality of which it has been a part. The sixth level is primarily an ascending reality. It allows you to have greater understanding of the levels yet to be attained. And in this reality, you can transcend the plane upon which you are currently existing. You are in this re you are in this plane. I am. Yes. You are in the fifth and sixth plane, but you are working primarily from the sixth plane. You have an awareness of the fifth plane also. I must check on Liana again. And this is a good point in time for us to switch to the other side of the cassette for the continuation of this description. Turn the cassette over now. The color for this sixth plane is a purple, but it is a different kind of purple. That is the sixth plane. The seventh plane is the full circle at which you understand and have a complete awareness of all that is in your plane of reality, a complete and total understanding not only of yourself, but of all the levels that you touch. If you will notice, the seventh level touches or crosses every other level of existence. It has the harmonizing influence. It is the level that unites everything within the level. And it also has the ability to cross into other levels. Since the light is pulsing, since the light radiates, it touches all the levels, the levels above it, 
Again, space is not right, but the levels above it, below it, on top of it, and behind it, for lack of better analogies. The color for this level is white. There is no color, or there is all color. And it is the highest level you can attain and still stay in the plane of reality upon which you exist. That is the basic understanding I have of these levels. It's indeed very interesting. Does this just apply to physical matter reality or to other states of being? These seven levels. This applies to all levels of existence, physical, non-physical. It does not matter. As I have said to you earlier, plants exist on levels one through seven. They are on the vibrational rate on the levels one through seven. It is the same pattern. Animals exist on the levels eight through 14. And when a person attains, or when a consciousness attains level 14, it can no longer go any higher unless it is willing to change its form of consciousness. Levels 15 through 21 are what you call human life on this earth. When a person progresses to level 21, he then has the choice of going higher or staying within the realm of human form, but he cannot go higher unless he is willing to give up human form. Levels 22 through 28 are your bridge. They are the levels that you enter upon death. I told you earlier you were on level 6. You are working from level 6. Because that is an ascending level, you can enter into the realm beyond life but you cannot stay there unless you are willing to give up your human form. Does that, is that clear? That much is clear, yes. And then once a person or a consciousness, we are talking about consciousness, reaches level 28, the bridge is crossed, and from that point on, for, for that consciousness to evolve higher, it would not again assume human form of any kind, not even as a learning experience. I will never incarnate again as a human. As another form of life, yes, but not as a human. The words are very hard because your plane of existence is not the same. Perhaps I can explain it by asking you to image seven levels, seven of the circles, which would give you the 49 levels. The first three levels are physical matter as you know physical matter. They are your plants, your animals, your humans. The fourth circle is your bridge, is your realm, your center for that overall plane. It is the time in which a consciousness can choose whether to go 
back into the lower levels or to transcend into the higher levels. And many consciousnesses do choose to go back into the lower levels in physical form. The upper three circles are the realm that in your consciousness is called the spiritual realm. And here much of the work is done. Here your guides choose actively to be guides to those of you who are in physical form. And your guides choose the the beings related to the level of evolvement upon which they are. For example, I could not help someone who was not on the 18th level very much because my plane, my vibrational rate would be different. This is why it is hard for me to help you with specific problems. I can give you ideas, but I cannot give you the direct guidance I could if you were on level 18. Our planes do touch since yours is an ascending spiral, an ascending, what is your word for that? It is ellipse. It is an ascending ellipse, and so therefore I can cross and communicate with you, but not as directly. Once I reach level 49, which I will, I then leave all of this realm of existence. It does not mean I have reached the highest point by any means. It simply means I have left this group of seven, this overall group of seven. Imagine, if you will, the seven circles enclosed in an even larger circle upon which seven more circles are stacked, which is in turn enclosed in an even greater circle. And then you can have some idea of what infinity is. It does not ever stop. Well, well I, I must confess that that all is kind of hard on my little tiny poor physical matter consciousness. <laughs> certainly is that is true I must it is very hard on my consciousness also I feel at times because I am very near to completing this circle that I have accomplished a major evolvement for my consciousness. But then when I try to explain it, I realize just how far or how how far I have yet to go and how little I have actually gone through. Done very well. Thank you. I must tell you that the communications you receive. I am working with several of your people, but it is not in the same form. Again, we are all on different vibrational rates. I am aware that there is communication, and I am aware that you are receiving information through many levels. I hope that I am. Because my level of consciousness is one of love, I leave you with love.
good day. Good day, and thank you so much for coming. And there you have the cosmology based on the number of sevens, the sevens and the forty-nines, and the twenty-ones. An interesting facet of this session that you just heard was the fact that we were finally able to get a chuckle out of Miranon, and that might indicate that he still has a great bit of humanness left in him. The session did provoke a lot of other questions, and one of them was about the question of guides and counseling. And in a following session, here was his answer to one of my questions about who does what in the guiding. I can offer you guidance in giving you insight as to what will happen or in giving you guidance as to what can be done with individual people. But I cannot tell you, I am not allowed to tell you exactly what will occur. You're not allowed? That is hard to explain. There, on my plane, there is no restriction from... You have in your, in your world a concept of authority, of people who have the, the power over other people. Am I correct? Yes, unfortunately, unfortunately we do. No, here we understand that each person within himself knows what can be done, what is wise to be done. And when I say that I am not allowed to tell you, it is my own self that does not allow it to happen. It is, you must tear the veil for yourself. I can show you the corner of the veil, and I can help you lift it, but I cannot tear it open for you. I am here to give you what counsel I can. There is an interesting concept that I have been been working with, penetrating into Liana's concept, into her mind, on the purpose of guidance and the purpose of counsel. I have said earlier that I am a part of Liana. Any guide that can make contact must be a part, must have a close relationship with the person with whom he is making contact. This is very hard to explain. You're doing very well. There are guides for every person. We have all split in many ways, and yet we must all come back together before this phase is over. Why must 
we do that? And the guides who have gone a little farther, that's not a good word either, because it's all the same distance or progress is not relative on my plane. But we must all reach a point where we can come back together. And my purpose now is to gather up the other parts of myself and help as I can for them to see. Liana has five guides who are working with her. How many guides do I have? Can you tell me how many, or if any at all? You have nine that I know of, but I am sure there are many others. But what is the purpose? What's the reason behind all of this guidance? How does it work? It is all necessary. There is a need for each potential to be developed and explored within each of us. There is a... It is like a, a rubber band that has to expand and the parts of itself are still connected, but some have expanded in one direction and some in another. And for the tension to be released, all of these many parts must come back together. Like the rubber band, it has never really separated. It has never fully been broken. Veils have been drawn so that, for example, Liana has had a sense of being separate from all that she is a part of. But she has never been separate completely. The band is never broken. And from that perspective, from your perspective, you would infer that there are many of us living at the same time, as it were. From my plane, yes, there are many of you in existence. You are all apart at the same time of the same rubber band. And time has no value. This is why it is hard for me to give you names, because I do not know you distinctly by names. But when you say now in reference to your time, Just a minute, I have to check. Yes, there is. There is a part of you that is doing research very much like what you are doing now. Liana, at this moment in your time, has no counterpart. Otherwise, I would have to be working with that one, too. I guess you would. And there is another of me then. That's interesting. But what is the sum of all this? What it, what's the meaning? What is the total? It's 
total of which this total that is now in tension has been tried to be defined by many of your philosophers for many of your earth years. For me, it is the creative energy that is, that is how I know it. And it is forever in motion. Before it began to be stressed, before the tension began to to be as it is now, there was the creative energy that was there. It was not being used as it could be. The tension is also necessary for this creative energy to be used. However, the tension needs, it is like your heart, it needs to pulse, it needs to tense and relax for the true creative ability of it to be felt. And at this period in your time, it is not pulsing as it should be, the tension is increasing. And this is why there are many forces coming to open the way to letting it relax. All forms of your energy are based on a pulsing. The work you are doing is based on a pulsation. Your body is based on a pulsation, and so is this creative energy. Life cannot exist without it. But what is the purpose behind all of this? The purpose behind this, what is it? I have thought of this. I am only on level 46 myself and do not understand all of the mysteries. But the sense that I have is that it is the rhythm. I have watched Liana. She is in, in touch with some of this, with the uh, some lessons she is working with on life. And I'm not sure that she is aware of the full potential. She should explore that more. She is, she is listening today. Oh, she is. You will, you will need to get in touch with this pulsation. You are under tension now. Relax and one of your guides will give you a clear message. I cannot give you clear messages because I am not one of your guides. I'll try to do that. Thank you. I think it will be good for Liana to have time here. And I hope that she can plan an extended time here. I have much to say for you and for her. Very good. We'll try to arrange it. 
goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for coming. Debrief. Debrief. Are you Hi. Right? How you doing? I'm fine. I just stretch your arms and legs and be comfortable. That's it. Gauges look good. Okay. And there you have it, another Explorer session, and this one I hope that you enjoy as much as we did. I'll see you again soon.